What is up, guys? Welcome to another Home Free Friday. And I am super excited for this one. Not only is it brand new Home Free, but it's a song that I love and a band that I really, really enjoy. It's gonna be Working For A Living by Huey Lewis and The News. I love Huey Lewis. Like, I'd say like most people in my generation, I was kind of introduced to that group through Back to the Future uh, with The Power of Love. What an awesome track. Uh, but like that being said, like I just, I really enjoy his music. Like he's got a very distinct voice and just the songs and like the sound itself of Huey Lewis is so damn 80s. It's like aggressively 80s. So I am pretty excited about this. Uh, and like, I know it's gonna be great, but I think the one thing I'm most hyped for is to see Adam do the uh, harmonica solo in like the middle of this song. I am a sucker for any song with a harmonica in it. I don't know why, like I really have no idea why, but yeah, whether it be Huey Lewis or Tom Petty or the guy from Blues Traveler, it's always a lot of fun to listen to. And we know that Adam can rock a harmonica, you know, beatboxing. So I'm expecting pretty big things. Uh, but yeah, thank you to everybody who let me know that this had just come out. I, uh, yeah, I can't wait. <laughs> so yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, these graphics are so 80s. I love it. Oh, you're kidding me. <laughs> it's an anchor man thing. <laughs> some days won't it ever, and some days pass on by. I'll be working here forever, at least until I die. Damned if you do, damned if you don't. I'm supposed to get a raise and no one I want. Working for a living. I mean, it's not Huey Lewis, working but living, chances, chances killing it. Working for a living. What they're giving because I'm working for a living. Yeah, I'm working for a living. Yeah. Hey, I'm not complaining because I really need the work. But hitting up my buddy's got me feeling like a jerk. Hundred dollar car, no two hundred rent. I get a check on Friday, but it's already spent. Working for a living. Working for man, a this living. Is, this is tight, man. They're doing really good. Living. Cause I'm working for a living. Oh, 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 I'm working. Yeah, I'm taking what they're giving. Oh man, this is definitely more of a more of an ensemble piece than I thought it was gonna be. Oh my god, the harmonica solo! <laughs> Jesus. Oh my god, Adam, what are you doing to me? Walking on the streets, it's really all the same. Selling souls, rock and roll any other day. Working for a living. Working for a living. Working for a living. Living and I'm working. I'm taking what they're giving because I'm working for a living. Working for a living. <laughs> man somehow austin was like the funniest person in this video i feel like that's normally reserved for rob but oh my god this was everything that i hoped for like it was so funny fun it was upbeat it was hilarious i got my incredible harmonica solo oh my god this was so good i don't know if it's gonna be on an album or like where they're putting all of these new songs that aren't on land of the free but 
fingers crossed it comes out on vinyl because these songs have been so good so far we gotta talk about adam though like i feel like this song this arrangement at least really lives and dies with the rhythm section and even taking out that awesome amazing harmonica solo this was still a great performance by him like the fills were tight they were so so good especially right before he went into that harmonica solo he had this awesomely fast fill and then right into the harmonica. It's like, does he take a break? Does Adam have to breathe? I don't know. I, I, the only question I have is who does the beatboxing when he is rocking the harmonica? Uh, I heard that like Chance and like other people have been working on beatboxing uh, or it's layered. Either way, it doesn't matter, but I need to see this live. I don't know if they're gonna be doing a lot of these like new videos uh, when they tour. I think they just started their tour. I got tickets to go see them in November, I wanna say, October or November. So I am super hyped, I can't wait, but I would love, love to see this one perform live. Uh, and Tim, Tim as well. Like this was a really fun, poppy, you know, 80s kind of bass line. And he did it very, very well. And this was just like, the rhythm section was like literally perfect in this song. Chance did a, a really good job too. I mean, you know, good for him. It definitely wasn't Huey. I mean, I don't know what it is. Like Huey Lewis just has like a twang to his voice. It's not even like a Southern twang. It's, it's a Huey Lewis twang. He's got one of the most distinct voices in like 80s music. Uh, if not, you know, music in general, it's, awesome and yeah no one really has it quite like Huey but you know Chance did a, a very very good job you know not being him <laughs> if that makes any sense uh, but I love the fact that uh, it was also you know more of an ensemble number really gave everybody a chance to shine like Robin Austin did great as the uh, like the the backing melody and the harmonies but it was always nice to see them get you know a little bit of a, a little bit of solo a little bit of light shining down on them because uh, yeah like the original you know, it was obviously all Huey so I'm like I'm just expecting Honestly, I kind of expected Austin to take the lead, but you know, hearing a bit of him sing this and a bit of Chance, I, I, I do think that Chance was the right choice. This whole arrangement though was just splendid. Like, man, Home Free is just so much fun. And don't get me wrong, I love Home Free, like serious songs. I love Home Free ballads. Like they're very, very well done. They're very good. But I mean, you just put a Home Free pop song in front of me and I am immediately just thrilled. Like giant smile on my face. Like, all right, let's tackle the day because I got my Home Free guys with me. <laughs> and the video, the video too was an awesome concept executed perfectly. And the more I think about it, the more I bet that, yeah, that little video camera that um, Tim had, I bet that's how they got those really crappy shots during the video. Or at least I would really hope that that's how it was. And Austin, Austin with his like little diva hand, always hitting the notes and stuff. That was hilarious. That was so good. Somehow Austin out over the top to Rob. Uh, I'm gonna blame it on the fact that Rob had to have that big boom mic uh, in his hands. But yeah, it's, it's just so much fun to see these guys out and having fun, you know, making real videos. Not that the quarantine videos weren't fun, but you know, seeing them in their element like this, just goofing around is some of the best stuff you can see on YouTube. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully you guys liked it as much as me. Uh, if you did, definitely let me know down in the comments. Otherwise, you all have an awesome rest of your home free Friday, and I will see you all in a reaction very soon.